Jesus doesn't want me for a song, but he wants me for a guitar teacher. That's why I'm teaching this song today, all right? 10thumbspro.com, new guitar every single Monday. If you want to be a patron, it starts a dollar month. You get a PDF in front of you to follow along and accelerate your learning. You can always give more if you want. It's a donation system based on good karma. But you don't need those things to learn this song. All you need is a guitar, a great attention span. If you have those three things, go ahead and follow me on in and let's break this lesson down right now. All right, so let's go ahead and break down the riff first. The riff sounds like this. Okay, now um, again, I am tuned in standard tuning. If you want it to match up with the Nirvana plug version, you have to tune everything down a half a step, which means E, E flat, A, A flat, D, D flat, G, G flat, B, B flat, E, E flat. But I think most of you guys are probably just going to play it standard tuning, um, or because you don't want to retune your uh, guitar for every single song, even though with a tuner, electric tuner is incredibly easy. So have fun with it and experiment. And try this one time, uh, tune down half a step. You might like it more. Okay, so the riff. Um, that's an E note. Okay, so we're gonna, that's important for because we're gonna see that a little later. I'll explain why that's important a little later. But we're gonna go fifth fret of the B string and go da da. From there, pointer finger, fourth fret, E string, pinky, seventh fret, B string, back to that E note, fifth fret, B string, up to this D note, which is the seventh fret of the G string. Okay. Ba, ba. Two times on that fifth fret, then it's just going to be a quick run. Four, seven, five, seven. Okay. Okay, and so for the next phrase, from here on the fourth, you're going to go, or the fifth, the seventh fret of the um, G string, you're going to go da, da, back to the fifth fret of the B string, then back up here to the seventh fret, sixth fret, and then up to the seventh fret of the D string. So we're on the D string, we're on the G string, seven, seven, five of the B string, back up to the D string, back up to the G string, seven, six, and then to the D string, seven. So that second phrase goes. Now this is an A note. Again, we'll see why that's important a little later, okay? So we're gonna go here on the A note, do, do, two times, drop down to that seventh fret of the uh, G string, and then back up two times. So that last phrase goes. Okay, so really slow. Okay, if you're the type of person that likes tabs printed out in front of you, um, go ahead and click that link right there and you can get the tabs for this lesson and all of our guitar lessons starting at just a dollar a month, okay? So, <clears throat> play that riff one more time because it happens two times. And then we are into the tune, okay? So the tune we're going to need an E major. Major, A major, and an A suspended four, an A sus four. So to make that chord, what you're going to do is you're going to make your A, but you're also going to need to play this third fret of the B string as well. Okay, and our strum pattern is going to be a simple down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to play through that strum pattern um, one time on the E, one time on the D, and one time or two times on the A, like this. Jesus doesn't. 
doesn't want me for a sunbeam Well, sunbeams are never made like me Alright, so that was almost it except on that A, let's take a look. On the A we're going to go down, down, up, up, sus and then back to this drum pattern. So the first time through it goes down, down, up, up, sus, and then back to the A. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Okay, so like this. Sus, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, sus, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, sus, down, down, up, up, down, up. Okay, so let's go ahead and add the E and the D chord with the sus, and let's play through that circle four times, and that is our verse. Now, the reason I said that we would come back to those notes is because this fifth fret here in our riff is an E note. We finish here on that seventh fret of the G string, which is a D note. And this is an A note. So when you're playing with your friends, you want that E note to be the first note to be on the E chord. The D note, you want it to land on the D chord. And the A note, you want it to land on the A. Now when it goes, it jumps back up to that D note, that's when you do the sus, because the sus4 is an A chord with a D note in it, alright? So that's how you match that phrasing. This would be the E chord, D chord, A chord, sus A, alright? We only have one more part, and that's the chorus, and it goes E to D, E to D, E to D, E D. Sus A. So we just go back and forth from the E to D um, two times, and on the third time through, we complete the progression like normal, like this. And then you back into the verse. Alright? Jesus doesn't want me for a sunbeam. Nirvana Unplugged playing a Vaseline song based on a gospel song. I hope you dig it. In the key of A major if you want to take your own fat nasty solo, alright? TenThumbsPro.com. Have a lovely day. Thumbs up if it helped you. Think about those tabs. It starts at a dollar a month. You get them with every single lesson, including our previous lessons. And it helps spread music around the world. All right, thumbs up if it helped. All right, everybody, so that was it. Jesus doesn't want me for a sunbeam. He wants me for a guitar player, just like I told you. New guitar every single Monday. Thumbs up if it helped you. If you really like it, check the links below. Check out us on Instagram. We're on there. Facebook, we're on there. Patreon, we're on there, all kinds of cool stuff, alright? And until next time, keep on rocking, keep on rolling. Love, peace, and chicken grease, everybody. Take care of yourselves.